Hi, today I will be discussing with you the difference between tax buoyancy and tax elasticity. Now, tax collection for a nation it can increase if tax collection for a country can increase based on two reasons. If the tax rate increases or the tax collection for a country can also increase if the GDP increases. When the GDP increases, it means the production is getting more. More number of goods are getting produced, more number of people are getting employment, so, so the tax collection will also increase. So point is, what is tax elasticity? So when tax collection increases because of increase in tax rate, so for example, currently government is imposing in GST 0%, 5%, 12%, 18% and 28% tax. If on the other hand, government starts imposing GST as 1%, 7%, 13%, 19% and 29%, the tax rate is increasing. Won't the tax collection increase in this case? So the increase in tax collection because of increase in tax rate, it is called tax elasticity. When we compare percentage increase in tax collection and if we compare it with percentage change in tax rate, it's called tax elasticity. Tax buoyancy. Tax buoyancy is increase in tax collection because of increase in GDP. So if more number of goods will be produced, more indirect taxes will be paid to the government. So if more number of goods are produced, so if GST lets GST remain same 0%, 5%, 12%, 18%, and 28%. But if only one good is produced in the 5% bracket, then government will be getting 5% 5 tax. But if two goods are getting produced, government will be getting 5% plus 5%. So if GDP is increasing, tax collection will increase. Because of two reasons, because direct tax collection will, will increase, indirect tax collection will also increase. So tax buoyancy, increase in tax collection because of increase in GDP, Tax elasticity, increase in tax collection because of increase in tax rate. I hope you have understood the difference between tax buoyancy and tax elasticity.